going to call the meeting to order, reminding everybody that we are reported. Uh, and uh, we'll do uh, uh, any, uh, let's deal with the minutes, the previous minutes. Uh, motion to accept. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, we have a guest tonight. Do you want to yes, go I, first so that you don't have to sit through the rest of our meeting? Sure. I'll see it up if you want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so uh, so uh, we have an application for a septic system. Um, and uh, um, the engineer on that on this is uh, Paul uh, Stasbeck. Stasbeck? Stasbeck. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, he couldn't be here today. Uh, he had a, another uh, uh, another issue that prevented him from, from being here. Uh, Ray is going to be here. He was briefed on the project, uh, and uh, he'll be representing any uh, the project and any questions you guys might have about it. All right, but from uh, our perspective, from my perspective, uh, I reviewed it, and um, there is a an issue where it is uh, it violates a setback for the property. Uh, this this system, the, the it is a system that <clears throat> is built because the uh, the the seasonal high groundwater table is high, mm -hmm. and so there has to be a mounded system. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the mounds I mean, it's it there's slopes that require it to be of a decent size, mm -hmm. and uh, it goes right up to the property line. Um, and of course, that means it's not up to code for a setback of the property line. Uh, it, the property line abuts uh, town property, mm -hmm. and so I reached out to um, uh, to DPW director Scott, uh, and uh, Scott had told me that this will have no impact to the town. Um, so I got that feedback. So the abutter isn't going to be uh, isn't going to have an issue with it. Um, so that's kind of just the breakdown as to what it is. Um, and then you can take it from there, like, you know, say whatever. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's really simple. Um, where, when you have a mounted system, you know, when you when you slope the slope the uh, the system back into the existing property, that's the toe of your slope. Okay, so the toe of the slope is subdivided five feet away from the border. For, right. So we're going right up to the property right. now. If you look at if, if you look at your uh, the, the plans that that Paul had sent. Uh, Paul had sent in this letter. Mm -hmm. You can see, and, and I'm here. Actually, I'll, I'll show you the bigger plan so everybody can see. Oh, I always thought that was fine. Yeah. Easy. Are yeah, you yeah, yeah. Here on behalf of. I'm, be, I'm, I'm representing Mr. Seitz. <laughs> oh, okay. Just because we're. Yeah, Raymond Michkowski. Yeah, I, and and okay. I did all the perk tests on okay. the property. I'm very familiar with the property. Right. So. Can I just ask you to spell your last name so that you could. You don't know how to spell it. Uh, M I C Z. Exactly. M I C Z. C Z K O W S K I. Thank you so much. Sure. So there's so um right up in here we've got the perk test and then the property line okay so and you can see that even where we tie in we're at least but we're about thirty five feet away from the road and we're up awfully high so I mean we're well set away from the prop from the street and like Scott Scott uh, says uh, you know we're not gonna is this past Barstow's it is before Barstow's before on the left, left hand side on the hill um yeah right at, the, at the they high point cleared all the trees right? yeah oh yes. I saw that yeah. okay. yes exactly exactly so um I saw that. you know it, it we're 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 going to match in right at the property line but we're still well well off the road we're still we still have plenty of did I read something? Thirty-four feet. Of, right. Yeah, the property line is thirty-four feet off the off the road. That too. So. From the paved. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, there's plenty of room there to to you know to work, and I'm sure that I, and I I'm sure that the the uh, homeowner because I'm sure you all saw there's a lot of scrub brush and all kinds of stuff. They're going to want to clean that all up and make it you know make it look presentable and nice and live in Hadley. Um, so Ben, what do you suggest? So uh, the the issue they have is <clears throat> if we weren't to to grant it. So by by allowing this, we're we're basically allowing the set that we're we're letting the set that we're relaxing the setback. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, 
is that if we weren't to, to allow, here's what they're trying to avoid, which are bigger problems, the uh, groundwater, <clears throat> they have to be above it. Right. Uh, that's a, if they were to violate that, that would be a serious public yep, health right. issue. So what they're trying to do is make sure that they comply with the most important aspects right. of the code. Mm -hmm. And in trying to comply with the most important aspects, they're having a, uh, they're violating the setback by setback. a small amount. What okay. they're asking right. for is the um, allowance. Variance that, of like six feet. Yeah, right. very little. Right. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that's exactly right. Like five feet. I so, think it's five feet. Yeah, yeah so five feet. Minor. Right. So a <clears throat> very, very small amount goes right up to the property line. Uh, uh, but uh, that small amount will allow them to have a safe system. And like Ben says, the, the system itself, the, the proposed septic system is designed all to, to, to Title V yeah, no, standards, good. state standards. Everything's yeah. Everything's been... Uh, so in, so in a perfect followed. world, we wouldn't have to. But because it's it, the situation is that it's not perfect, we have to kind of give somewhere... Um, uh, my thoughts are, are they are trying to avoid the, the, any violation of the code that's most important. That's what they're trying to do. And uh, the board can consider it from there. Yes. Yeah. And <clears throat> that behind that is the state. It's all state, state property. property so both. it's not. Right. Okay. Correct. So Correct. we need to vote on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I make a motion that we, ex um, that we accept the variance as written. Uh, for the new septic system, I saw, and this doesn't set any precedent. No, no, no just okay. single, just for this. All right, so we have a motion seconded with vote. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Pass. Great. Thank you. Thank you for well. Thank you very thank much. You. That was quick and painless. Yep. <laughs> have a great evening. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Thank you. Um, <laughs> any other news, Ben? Yep. So I'll, I'll update you guys on on stuff as I usually would. Um, food inspections are on track for uh, this year to get two uh, per, per year. So uh, awesome. uh, we're super thrilled about it. And the collaborative is a big part of being able to help us do that. So we're required to do a food inspection every six months in the code. <clears throat> you know, we, we, we weren't getting anywhere close to that before. Uh, you know, with, with me here last year, we got closer to like one a year, that type of thing. It's, it's, it's <clears throat> improvement. Uh, but at the pace we're at, we're already at 90% of wow. all food establishments right. inspected for this year. So this right. calendar year. So we're pretty close to being done with, with our six month requirement yeah. today. So a little bit more to go, but mostly, mostly that's done. Great. So that's where I'm thrilled about it. And again, it's definitely uh, with a huge help from that. Um, <clears throat> so can I just ask for a point of clarification yeah. uh, for the notes here? So <clears throat> we're supposed to have, or the food establishments are supposed to have at least two inspections per year. Right. And that ninety percent you're referring to is so like we, the first six months. Yes. Yeah. Here. Correct. Yep. 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 Then we'll have to get them again on the second half. Of the year. Okay. Uh, obviously, I'm not counting that. So, okay. um, <clears throat> the pools are all done, so we're good with that. Excellent. Um, tattoos, all all set up and inspected. Uh, tanning is done. We only had one there. Yeah. Like, we, but we, it's done. Um, Title V inspections we're up to date on. Uh, Kevin and I have worked out a system on it. Um, I've been out in the field a few times too. So, so uh, and getting to know the engineers. Obviously, we're working with. Uh, I'm trying to work with them a little bit, and uh, just it's going well. I think so far for Title okay. V. No, no, no issues on that. Clarification: Tanning is still just Planet Fitness, right? Yeah. Okay. What's that? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, she was trying to figure out who which, the one was, and it, it's just planets fit validating for, my, for tanning. My, what about the, the, no, just who has the tanning? Who has permit. the tanning uh, oh, the, permit? Yeah. yeah. Um, the summer rec programs are applying now, mm -hmm. um, which we have a new code actually for uh, for camps. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got trained up on that. So we should we're good to go on it. Um, uh, you know, is there any? They're they're much more. They're trying to. Uh, make things more uh, information more available on the state level yeah. is what they're trying to do. So they can respond to issues quicker and be and it's more visible if there's a problem, right. that type of thing. There's a lot of other stuff, but, yeah. but that's the way it, 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 when I was listening to the training, that's, that's a, a drive that they're trying to do. And it makes sense. Uh, they want to provide support mm -hmm. when there's a problem. Are you going to need uh, Marcy to help out with to be able it. to do that you know what i probably will but right. uh, when, when it marcy do you mind time. working with ben and he'll let you know what needs to be done no i remember him discussing it's, this it's, when i first came yeah, on yeah well, no, well the timing for that was not good yeah, but yeah. It's, it's minimal yeah, yeah. 
Well, for, uh, usually it's just Hartsbrook. If and you like don't a feel camp. comfortable, yeah. so the soccer. Let me know. Oh, yeah. and then the rest of them oh, are nice. just yeah, the okay. short sports right. ones that don't qualify. Yep, that's yep. right. That's right. That's all it's been so far. I don't think it'll be any different this year. No. Okay. <laughs> that oh, Hartsbrook is... School. Yep. They do a farm camp. Yeah. And then yeah. um, they there's usually like a soccer. Oh, uh, uh, soccer camp. Yeah, yeah. Park and Rec do a uh, oh. uh, two week soccer camp. Yeah. Okay. Um, as mentioned previously, uh, trying to get trainings done for a registered sanitarian, it's been a bit of a challenge lately, so I'm going to have to redouble efforts towards that end. Yeah. Uh, uh, but that is a goal is to get registered sanitarian, uh, certification all set up. And, uh, as you know, I passed the housing standardization, um, courses that, uh, that the t state set up, mm -hmm. Those are fun. Well done. but well, yeah, the, oh, the food, I need to do the housing. And so that's next on my, on my list. Uh, so I'm going to start focusing on that over the next month mm -hmm. or so. It's a good curriculum. Yeah. They did really They'll good with like it. it. Yeah. They picked some good people for trainers too. This is the housing one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, okay. So then the, the last thing is, uh, you guys have always been, uh, really nice to me and, and, and said, thank you for, for the efforts I do. But there is one person that does need a little bit extra rec uh, recognition here, and that's Dragon. Uh, I, you know, I got a, uh, a notice. I won't go into detail as to what it was, but there was an issue that uh, that came onto my plate, and uh, it's not something that I had dealt with previously. Uh, and uh, you know, I I reached out to Dragon. Dragon has dealt with something like that previously, and she was, uh, you know, I couldn't have done it without her. I would have been feeling around in the dark, you know, uh, trying to make a lot of calls to figure it out. One call to Dragon, and, and we we uh, are here. got it all resolved. Oh, so thank you, Dragon, for supporting the effort. Yeah, it, it's all about working together, right? Absolutely. And like I say, it's a team sport yeah. that everybody brings different thank stuff, you. and that's how we get things done. Thank you. And I like being part of the work. So yeah. thanks for reaching out and and helping uh, train me as we went along. I, I took I, notes while we did it, so that if there's a problem, I, I'll know a little better what to do the next time. Yeah. So, uh, so with that, thank you. I'm all set. I'm all done. Oh, I asked briefly, was that, is there anything happening with the software, inspection software, or is that? So I, uh, I want to do your thing. Okay. All right. So for, for me, uh, I'm working with the collaborative to try to get the, the, um, oh, good. Wim -wim okay. and okay. so that there's no cost to the town, yeah. but, but I got to wait because they have to get approval okay. of, of the chain. Good. Okay. That's a great workaround. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so to add to that, um, the reason why Ben's not looking, you know, for for right. other <laughs> or mm -hmm. other uh, applications, uh, our vendor kind of ignores us. Right. And so, from from my viewpoint, I I get out of it yeah. when I get out of it. Right. And so I do all my own little workarounds. Right. His needs are a little bit different. Yeah. They're, they're public facing. So, yeah. So so. Well, this is great, though. This is yeah. Good. So, so if we end up going that route. Uh, you know, it, as long as I can somehow still crank out permits, right. Yep. Uh, in some fashion, uh, automatically versus you know doing them manually. Uh, when I when I first started, uh, you know, I'm good to go. Okay, good. So okay, but having the inspection piece be able to be electronic. Is, um, yeah, like yeah. This would be, oh yeah, oh the yeah. way that I I worked with them, I would I shadowed them on a few inspections. They were like so quick. Streaming. They're like boom, yeah. boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 we're done. Oh my god, good. Yeah. that would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, good. You're on, you're on Mars. Ben, do you want to? I'm all set on it. Uh, with, okay. with, uh, that, I'm all done with mine. All right, well, we're happy for you to stay, but if you want to leave, you yeah. go. I'll hang up. Okay. You already on that. Sure. sure, you're next on the agenda. So, oh, okay. Um, so, uh, that's just, uh, so uh, with regards to uh, food establishments being permitted, I think we have like four establishments that are still hanging out there. Um, they're being pursued. I won't name them. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, what we did do in March is we reached out to uh, some of the people who are really ignoring us mm -hmm. and they ignored us previously. So what we did is we uh, enacted a uh, $100 fine yeah. early Good. and um, they all paid them. They all paid them? Yes. 
Yeah, so their fee was three hundred fifty dollars. They came in with a check for four hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, okay. good. So, I mean, you know, it, it gets a little ridiculous after a while chasing mm -hmm. yeah. people that know that they need permits yeah. to run run their business. Mm -hmm. So it also takes your time, which is time resources. So. Yeah, it's you know, and you know, the, the murder rate is ridiculous. So anyway, that that worked out well. And uh, again, so we have like four or five that are still out there. So, so did. Yeah, I don't remember when this was, maybe a year and a half, two years ago when we talked about, oh, that was actually a violation, not the permit. Right. Right. Okay. Just to clarify what I was going to say was, um, you know, if they, if the establishment did not um, um, uh, clean up the problem, then there would have been enough, you know, we, I think by state law, they would be allowed mm -hmm. one chance. And then after that, they could be fine. But this isn't the same thing. That was re-inspections. So, that was re-inspections, right? This isn't, but I believe in our permitting language, it talks about um, the letter that gets sent out about a due date, right? And then the yes. extra charge on it. Yes. Yeah. So, so this year or this cycle, the letter by way of our vendor's right. application, software application went out in November. Yeah, the previous year went out like New Year's Eve. Uh, right, right. So this went out well before Thanksgiving. And it wasn't like the letter got lost in the mail. Yeah. It's we, electronic. I remember us it, reviewing it. It's it sent to their email address. Um and so uh so they had in plenty of time. And again, ninety-five percent of the food establishments and bakeries and so on mm -hmm. and so forth were compliant. Uh, there were a couple of people that I actually went to go see yep. because I was actually going to buy something there. Yep. I said, "Oh, by the way, I work for the Board of Health. You know, here's your application. Yeah. Fill it out. I drop off. I remember doing those. Yeah. And by the way, you almost know the hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and then there, uh, but." Um, so this cycle was a lot cleaner, a lot smoother. It's great. Um, and uh, so I, I would say compared to last year, last year being end of 2022, went, went a lot of that. So, right. if, uh, if we get a little bit better every year, then that's all we can ask for, right? That's good. Yeah, absolutely. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, again, like the previous years, I was sitting there banging them out, permits, you know, on, on the keyboard. Yeah. And then emailing them or putting them in the mail. So when I started on the board, I very vividly remember hearing the stories of um, Dick Tessier, who was so great. But um, during permit season, would, you know, print them, do them all on Word, would print them all out, and then, it, it, you know, have to have them on the floor. And then we mailed them out like old school. It was just an incredible undertaking. So thank you for. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it works, you know, 100 times better. That's right. It's a different you know, Yeah, it's it is. Strong. I know when I first started, my second day there, I was showing how to use the mailing machine. Yes. And it's like, what am I going to be using this for? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to mail on purpose. No, I don't think so. Welcome. <laughs> I never used a mailing machine. I don't know how to do so, uh, so, then it got went well. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know if this is still on the agenda or not, but I did want to talk about some fees, some permit fees that. Mm -hmm. uh, right, we tabled that last time because there was a way for you to be there. Uh, Make your consider yeah, in terms of yeah. increases. Yeah. And again, the whole point here is not to uh, mm -hmm. gouge anybody, punish anybody, or anything like that. It's more. You know, taking into consideration inflation number mm -hmm. one, number two, mm -hmm. make sure that we align better with some of our surrounding towns. And so the the four or actually the five or six um, fees that I looked at, you can see in the left hand column there, uh, septic hauler, installer, septic cleaner reviews, which is what Ben does, body art establishments, and misspell, uh, body art practitioner, and mini camps. So what I did is I looked at what Amherst charges, what uh, Northampton charges, what Sunderland charges, and the recommendation, the right hand column. That's just my recommendation. And I think there's one or two there where I'm recommending let's let's keep them, you know, what they are. Let's not bump them up. Let's let's not get crazy. But again, for those that um, I think we have room to uh, increase the fees slightly, I think we should. You know, the, the, 
I think the town needs the revenue, number one. And number two, again, I think we, we would align better with the surrounding towns. Again, some of the some of these uh, permits, particularly haulers and installers, they're doing business in Amherst and Northampton and Sunderland and other towns. So they know what they're paying. And so we're kind of like low man on, on the on the fee schedule list. And uh, so I think we have some opportunities there. So, so my recommendation, again, is in the right-hand uh, column. This would take effect January 1st, 2025. Because all these all these people, uh, at least the the haulers and stallers, body art establishments and practitioners, they've already been permitted this year. They will. They've already paid okay. us. So, Emma, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I think they're fine recommendations. I just know, as a part of discussion, there's. I, I believe I've just read about like an article in the paper a couple months ago talking about fees um, and just wanting to make sure that we're not going too high. Um, but I think these recommendations are thoughtful. Um, the only one that I would kind of note um, is like septic plan review, maybe not going up to 200 um, and staying at 150 um, to still be in the mean of the other surrounding towns, but other than that, I agree with all the work. <laughs> all right, so you're in agreement with all of them except the septic plan review, you would put it 150. I would just maintain it where it is now. Margaret, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I I didn't actually do it immediate in terms of um, looking at the meaning. Oh. No, no, no. I mean, I, I think that's a, a valid way of doing it. Um, Okay, they look fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm. I would go I, along with what Evan suggested. Yeah, what would you know when I look at the hauler, the installer, and, and the other ones? It, it seems, yeah, I mean, it seems pretty in line with mm -hmm. you know the other two towns. I'm quite happy to also go along with the uh, uh, subject plan review if you want to keep it at the 150. How many of those do we get? Have you counted them up before? Uh, I, I have. I have not. Um, I mean, I've I've got it under the sales part. Yeah. My my only comment on I mean, you know, and I just start uh, dragging what you're saying. Um, I, I guess my only comment uh, in favor of increasing the fee is that I know what Ben does in terms of machinations around collecting the data, reviewing the data. You possibly talk it to a guy like you know, Ray. Uh, talking to Kevin, who's very pleasant, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, go visit the site. So, was, I mean, there was a package that came in the other day. I mean, that's probably still sitting here. Yes, it was like this. That's a mm -hmm. lot of labor hours. Yes. Yeah. So that that's where I again, I kind of I thought the way you were. I said, like, hey, yeah, we don't want to gouge these guys, or particularly our yeah. residents. But at the same time, I see what he's doing because he sits five feet from me. You know, anytime he gets plans to review. And again, we had one literally come in the other day. It was an inch and a half thick. I'm sorry, what was that? Was well, that? It's because of the how large the plans are and yeah, where they fold them. They're, they're pretty chunky. Yeah. yeah they're, they're, those folded like 10 times right. type of things. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. what does everybody feel comfortable with? So, well, let's go back to, um, to you, Ben, on this, yeah, right? Sure. I mean, because it impacts you. Sure. What what is your sense given the amount of hours that are spent on 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 this and labor that you know Peter has talked about? You know, I would want to I, I, I would want to give you an answer. Uh, I've been doing the reviews now for about a month and a half after my certification, so sort of that. I would want a bigger data set to be able to to uh, give you a response to that. I'd like to give you a response now, but I feel like it would just be not enough. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, I understand. Uh, experience with it. Um, you know, I might also get better at it with time as well. So, <clears throat> so you know, it's it's hard. It's my answer is uh, unfortunate. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. That's then, then, then my proposal would be that we accept the increases as as written here would. The exception of the um, septic plan review, 
with the intent of reviewing it next, next year, year. Yeah. once you know you feel you've got a better sense okay. of, of of you know the impact this has on and i'll and i'll put like more of a I'll put a clock on myself a little bit just to kind of see how on average you know how how long it takes me. okay thank you that would be terrific um go ahead all right. Yeah. You want to vote on that? Well, I'd like to make a motion then that we accept um, the uh, recommendations uh, for increase with the exception of the sector plan review that we would keep at 150. Uh, I second that. With with the review of the... With the review in a, year. another year. Yep. That's a great idea. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Okay. Passed unanimously. Okay. Marcy? Yeah. Oh, uh, Peter, is that? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I am going to be doing the town nurse presentation this month on chronic stress and the effects on health. And um, it stressed me out. <laughs> so the many, irony. There's so many angles to it. <laughs> And uh, then the students from UMass the following week, uh, 24th, are going to be here within this room. And I think there are 16 vendors from the community that are going to be here um, just offering their service, you know, just offering their service. Well, health there. What day? It's going to be the 24th, and it starts, yeah, 24th. It starts at it's 10 to 12, I believe, 9 to 12. Nice. Yeah. And then, uh, well, do you want me to discuss the memory cafe or no? I mean, sure need to. I just are things going well? I think so. They've had two. Uh, they've had two monthly sessions. One was with a singer, and one was with a person doing artwork. And I think that um, I think that it went really well, and I okay. think that there's this momentum that's built that's right. about bringing people in. Um, so that's been going nicely. And then um, the following month, I'm going to be doing my presentation on how how to speak with your doctor slash provider. Good. Yeah, I think that'll be a good topic. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. What about the nurse? Good. That's the slash. That's what, yeah. Uh, uh, Marcy, thank you for all you're doing. Mm -hmm. Very well. Really appreciate it. Good job. Thank you. Really good job. Anybody else have any uh, other business? Town meeting May 2nd. Yeah. Right. Um, on, the, uh, on my on the calendar. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen like bits and pieces of it a lot on there. Yeah. So uh, if you go down and it's the 20. First, first the town cleanup for Earth Day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So, both of Margaret. Oh, May. You're talking about, and I was talking about April 21st. Oh, okay. And um, April 21st is the town Earth Day cleanup. Our next oh, yes, meeting yes. will yeah. be. Is there a meeting place for that? May. Uh, yes, it's going to be at Hopkins uh, mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, I think it's eight or nine in the morning, and you collect your gloves and bags and yeah. whatever. And what is that? Uh, for the town cleanup. Oh, right. Okay. Are they having a candidates' night this year? It's not that I'm aware of. Uh, the, I'm, Mother's Club usually sponsors that, and they, you, they usually will ask the candidates right, who are running and see if there's interest. Yeah. And then book it accordingly. Um, I believe last time it wasn't held because mm -hmm. there wasn't a response. Um, because I went. I know they're eager for it right. every year. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, our next meeting will be. Well, uh, that would make it um, April, May. Yeah, May 9th. May 9th. Okay. So we'll adjourn. And um, you Let me just. Okay. Yeah. May 9th. Yeah. I just wanted to find out if we're. I won't request a Zoom. I mean, the weather's good. People are coming out. Is that okay? Or do we want a Zoom? Because I only need to know kind of well in advance because I, I, what I heard I mean, is I that would, there's not that many uh, I would, allocations. For I would this. get it just because you just don't know. All right. I will request it. Who's going to be away or, I mean, so I would prefer to have, I mean, I want to come, mm -hmm. but, you know, if <clears> I can, okay. it's better to have a Zoom link so that they can do it. And still participate. Yeah, that's a great idea.
Um, I actually do have one more item if I could ask about this, and that is um, I saw on the emails um, that, you know, the avian flu and impact on, um, well, people, but also cattle, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, has that impacted your, what you no. go and do and have people said anything to you? That's a great question. So MDAR has been very communicative about it um, with information to the animal inspectors. Um, we've had previous years where it's similar. Mm -hmm. um, I forget if it was last year or the year before or where um, people weren't able to like show a lot of chickens at fairs because mm -hmm. of the um, it being so contagious. Um, but as of right now, nothing's changed with my cadence with the expectation. Thanks, Dragon. Yeah. Good to know they're talking to you guys, letting you, keeping you updated. Yeah. There was no human transmission, is that correct? Well, there was there one. Was one. Or there was one. Oh, there was. one. Yeah, hmm. one or two. And that was it. Uh, mild symptoms, conjunctivitis. Oh, yeah. Human infection? Yes. Yeah. Human transmission There's not been a documented human to human transmission. No, correct. not human to human. Just zoonotic. The one that I am interested, just as a conversational, not interested, I wish it wasn't a thing, but was about the resurgence of measles. Oh, um, yeah. so just yeah. really want to encourage everyone to get their vaccination. Get your vaccine. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I would think the school nurse is on top of that. Yep. Um, our school nurses are great. Gail and Robin. All right. Adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. So be it. Second. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.